सन उन्नीस सौ तीन हवाई जहाज के इन्वेंशन ने बदल दिया दुनिया के आने जाने का तरीका 2022 वेदांतो लॉन्चेस एआई लाइफ और ये बदलने वाला है दुनिया के सीखने का तरीका इंटरक्टिव क्लासेस टॉप टीचर्स सिर्फ पांच हजार रुपए सालाना हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू द फैंटास्टिक फैबुलस एंड फैंटाबुलस सेशन बाय वेदांतो नाइन्थ एंड टेन इंग्लिश माय नेम इज प्रितेश आई एम योर होस्ट योर दोस्त एंड अ प्राउड मास्टर टीचर फ्रॉम वेदांतो वेलकमिंग यू टू योर ग्रेड टेन सेशन लाइफ प्रोसेसेस वेयर वील बी डूइंग द सेशन नंबर टू टुडे सो वेलकम टू द सेशन एवरीबॉडी एंड वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स द इंट्रोडक्शन in the next session which is the third session of the chapter we'll be doing in detail about the entire elementary canal of human beings so today we'll be doing the processes involved in the process of uh, human nutrition that is ingestion digestion assimilation absorption absorption assimilation ingestion all those processes and we'll also be dealing with the process of digestion in amoeba that is a protozoa so talking about i me myself my name is pratesh and there's some information and you can follow me on instagram at pratesh_vedantu where we can learn together grow together connect together and evolve together right apart from that guys these are my masterminds those who have given me the perfect answers for the question asked in the previous session i've got navya bosley who says that the 13 essential vitamins are a b c d e b complex and a d e k are fat soluble whereas b and c are water soluble that are not stored in the body pia biju says that the session was amazing she loved it and the metals required for photosynthesis are manganese copper but the most important one is magnesium so i was talking about magnesium that is the metal that is required for photosynthesis because it enables the chlorophyll to trap the sunlight to do photosynthesis apart from that guys i want all of you to keep answer in the comment section every question that i ask you because your name will be flashed on the screen just like this in the next session talking about the steps involved in nutrition so we begin with ingestion that involves the taking in of food through the mouth humans practice holozoic nutrition that is intake of solid and liquid food for energy so they intake the food through the mouth whether it is solid or liquid after the food is eaten the digestion process begins in the mouth it is of two types mechanical digestion that happens with the help of teeth which involves chewing and chemical digestion that help that involves the action of chemicals like enzymes and saliva and pancreatic juices and liver secretions and etc so that is digestion which is the breakdown of complex food into simple food breakdown of starch to maltose by salivary amylase breakdown of proteins to peptones by the pepsin in the stomach all of that is a part of the process of digestion after that we come to absorption where the food that is broken down now gives out the nutrients these nutrients are absorbed by the finger like projections in the small intestine especially the lower part of the small intestine called villi villi are finger like projection that absorb the nutrients give it to the blood and finally when the nutrients reach the blood they are assimilated assimilated means they are given to the correct position in the body i like to call my assimilation as amazon delivery for example night blindness eat an apple vitamin a absorbed by the villi goes to the eyes so the travel of vitamin a to the eyes and its function is comes under assimilation basically assimilation means absorbing the nutrients and utilizing them to create complex proteins in the body you ate an egg it gave you muscles you had a glass of milk it gave you vitamin d right so what vitamin d does it strengthens your bones so the passage of vitamin d to the bones from the small intestine falls under assimilation so after you have eaten everything and it's absorbed there is a lot of food that is left which is waste which is undigested and that has to be removed through the body by the process of ingestion ingestion is the removal of solid unwanted food from the body and that happens through the large intestine where the water and minerals are absorbed the waste is stored in the rectum and next day morning it is removed through the anus into the washroom right now we have already seen the two types of nutrition autotrophic which involves green plants bacteria fungi 
algae we also learnt about heterotrophic where we have saprophytic that is feeding on dead and decaying organic matter parasitic which involves ectoparasitic outside the body like mosca mosquito and lice and endoparasitic like a tapeworm and ascaris we also saw holozoic nutrition where the intake comes in the form of solid and liquid food where we have herbivores like deer carnivores like a lion and omnivore like human right and now let us see the nutrition in amoeba amoeba is a protozoa amoeba is a protozoa it follows your holozoic nutrition heterotrophic holozoic nutrition now amoeba has something called as false feet when i look at the term pseudopodia when i look at the term pseudopodia the word pseudo the word pseudo means false the word pseudo means false and podium means feet false feet is pseudopodia so whenever amoeba spots a food particle it will go towards the food particle and hug it it will go towards the food particle with the help of pseudopodia and it will hug it and it will create a food vacuole it will create a food vacuole so it will go and surround itself around the food vacuole and create uh, surround itself around the food particle and create a food vacuole this food vacuole is temporary as soon as the food vacuole is created the vacuole starts secreting enzymes and chemicals to digest the food to break down the food and absorb all the nutrients so the amoeba goes creates a food vacuole secretes chemicals digests the food absorbs assimilates and whatever is the waste that is thrown out from any part of the body so that is the process of nutrition in amoeba the food vacuole in amoeba is also known as temporary stomach as it disappears once the food is digested you can see so amoeba saw the food created a food vacuole digested it and finally just threw it out from any part of the body so it undergoes the same processes ingestion digestion assimilation absorption and finally ejection right so that is the process of nutrition in amoeba for paramecium in case of paramecium which is again a protozoa this is the creation of food vacuole is not required the paramecium will go towards the food make the food vacuole ingest the food so paramecium does not create a food vacuole it has a food vacuole on its own it has a food vacuole on its own so through the buccal cavity it will take the food inside and finally digest absorb and assimilate and finally throw it out of the body so that is the process of nutrition in paramecium now let us do a couple of questions let's see how well can you answer it absorb food is used by body cells for their energy growth and repair it occurs during das stage of process of nutrition so absorbed food being used the using of nutrients for making complex proteins i already told you this is my amazon delivery and the answer is assimilation without a doubt right because the food is already absorbed and now it's being utilized vitamin d is being going to the you know it's going to the bones vitamin e is going to the eyes vitamin e is going to the skin like that food vacuole found in amoeba is permanent temporary always found attached or always bounded by a triple membrane it's a temporary stomach it's a temporary stomach right which of the following in amoeba helps in ingestion of food what helps to go and take in the food is it the cilia pseudopodia food vacuole or contractile vacuole this is a bit tricky you're not supposed to get confused the answer is food vacuole pseudopodia helps in movement pseudopodia helps in movement but the food vacuole takes in the food whereas you have to tell me this is your homework i think i had already asked you this that what is a contractile vacuole you have to tell me the answer in the comment section that what do you mean by contractile vacuole and guys if you want to learn in a similar manner with me and all your other amazing vedantu teachers whether it is abhishek sir amrit sir amit sir harsh priyam or whether it is shilpi ma'am bhavna ma'am anup sir or any of your amazing teachers from vedantu 9 and 10 anubha ma'am or there are so many beautiful people out there i don't even remember the names right ankana ma'am so if you want to learn with us english math science sst for just rupees 4500 for the entire year yes for one year it's 4500 then you have to use the coupon code 
P R E P R O. And if you have any doubts, you can just WhatsApp on the number that's going down. You can WhatsApp on that number and solve your queries. So in just a piece 4,500, you can learn English, Math, Science, SSG for the entire year from all your favorite master teachers of Vedantu. Right? And here's a, here is a question for all of you. Which organ in the human body is analogous to food vacuole found in amoeba? Analogous. It is completely opposite to the food vacuole found in amoeba. Tell me the answer in the comment section below. Do not forget PRE, PRO and yes, do give this video a big fat thumbs up. Thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe to Vedanta to 9th and 10th English. And remember, hashtag each one get one. I want all of you to just get one more subscriber. We are at 1,94,000. Very, very, very soon. I think in a day we can cross 3 lakhs. But I need your support for that. All of you just make one person subscribe. Yaar. It's not a big deal. Come on, do it for us, right? And you can reach out to me at pritesh.joshi at vidantu.com. Thank you so much, guys. See you soon. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Take care.